Hello and welcome back to Trains A New Era. Thank you very much for joining me in this video. Last time out, we took a look at um, the CO17 Russian, Russian trains, the Locomotive Complete Collection, uh, which I linked in the description box of that video. So it was a full review uh, of that, of that lo locomotive set. I think there were nine locomotives and we had a look at how they run. One thing that I did make a mistake on for certain was that um, the lights do work on that engine, but only at night, which is sort of odd. Uh, in the sense that, of course, you would have running lights on during the day. But, uh, you know, I'm, I'm not going to complain too much about that. I did then try that out at night and it did work. Uh, that was after I was um, told, after I was told that it does work at night by uh, trains themselves. So there you go. So there you go. That's the correction for that. Uh, again, you can find that if you follow the link in the description box. There's an affiliate link. You can find that and all the uh, downloadable content on or through that affiliate link it just takes you to the train store and you can purchase that and support me along the way but today we're going to be looking at one that was requested and one that I have been looking forward to for quite a while and that is the Settle and Carlisle route or the Settle to Carlisle route now this is the very first route I ever ever went on in a train simulator and that was Microsoft's train simulator way back in 2000 2000 maybe 2000 2001 I think it was back then I can't remember but Cecil and Carlisle was the very first one and the very first thing I did was Cecil Carlisle flying Scotsman emergency run and it was a run where you're taking a standard passenger route from Cecil to Carlisle but uh, during it there's some sort of medical emergency and then you are permitted to clear all speed limits or you're permitted to go at up to 100 miles an hour um, not adhering to the speed limit and passing all the red signals and everything was cleared out of your way which was fantastic you know you're driving along and five minutes into that route they go oh there's this emergency I can't remember what it was was it somebody went into labor or something and you needed to get them to Carlisle Hospital as fast as you could and you just basically crank it up all the way to 100 miles an hour in the Flying Scotsman and you just floor it as fast as you possibly can so what comes on this route? Well, you can see that there are 25 sessions comprised of the 87 miles of main line, a 6 mile branch line and short sections of 10 collect connecting lines. The main line connects Skipton and Carlisle and was built to complete the 3rd England-Scotland trunk route in 1876. It incorporates the whole of the Settle Carlisle Railway, which is the extended, which is the special part, you know, the part that I really like, and is then extended southwards to Skipton, which is a major junction and a railway centre. That then goes over to Leeds, I believe. At the end, or at each end, this route follows the river valleys, but the central section crosses through the northern Pennines. So the northern Pennines are um, an area that is north of north of England, but sort of on the north uh, northwest side of England, and that's the Pennines. And then you've got the Yorkshire Dales on the northeast side, and so, so it's, it's a mountainous, a hilly region. So as you can see, a des desolate area of high moors intersected by deep valleys or dales. It's a very nice place to go, honestly. Uh, the engineering in this section is heavy with many viaducts and tunnels, something that Settler Carnell was known um, for. Traffic on this route has always been of a long distance nature, small population of the area, of course, and the period is from the 1960s. You can see that we have one, two, three, four, five different ones available. This is the full route, and so you can see it's got those. Uh, this is the Craven District, which is just an, the southern part of it. Then you've got the Settle to Carlisle Railway's climb from Settle into the Pennines. You've got the Valley of Eden, which follows the River Eden from near Appleby to Carlisle. So this is, again, areas that I know. And then you've got the Yorkshire Dales part, which goes all the way through out the other side of the Pennines and to the Yorkshire Dales area. So yeah, there's a lot going on. Now, I'm not going to be able to look through all of this in this review, but we are going to start having a look at it. And if you guys want to then purchase the product, the link is in the description box below. So that would be really, really good. Also, excuse me for having a bit of a bunged up nose. Now, the one I'm going to take is going to be... See, I've already tried this one out to have a look. I think, oof. I'm just trying to figure out, this is a freight service, I'm not too sure about that. 
Let's try this. The Thames Clyde Express. Non-stop between Leeds and Carlisle, but obviously because it doesn't go to Leeds. Sure, let's try this. This is probably as close as I'm going to get to the run that I used to do. So we'll just wait for that to load up and we'll see. So, first of all, that looks a little bit old school. This is an old school route, I'm, I'm fairly certain of it. We're going to go in cab mode, obviously. There's our train. Oh, please, what, what, is that the Flying Scotsman? No, it's a Columbo. Darn. Well, there, there's our train. Uh, nothing too special about it. It's just a train. And here is our route. So you can see there's Settle. So we'll get settled in a little bit, and then we get that's the settle Carlisle route just there. So, see how you go. If you want a real challenge, head for the Thames Clyde late session, which, which can only be driven in cab control. Don't forget to keep to the speed limits, especially at the Long Martin Viaduct. Well, we're going to see what happens. Um, I never know how to bring this back up, but we are just going to get ourselves underway. In fact, how do you bring that up? All right, let's get ourselves inside. We are now inside a class A3. Very nice. L-N-E-R. Superb. Although I suppose it says British Railways on the side now. Given that it's got the British Railways number 60036, which is sad. I, I would have liked it to have the other numbers. The area looks pretty good. Um, yes, it's not, it's not super photorealistic or anything, but it does look decently populated in terms of it does look like a station and it does look like there is or there are people in the station fantastic right so let's see uh, where do I find show launch window no not that I always I always find it confusing where Am I supposed to find additional tools menu? Aha! Session instructions. There they are. Right. So we're departing at 3.20, which is now. So that's absolutely fine. Let's get ourselves, get the brakes, release those brakes. Uh, we'll start adding water in already. And we will do that. I pressed space. Now I don't know how to get rid of that. Okay, we'll bring this right up, and we'll see exactly what we can do. Whistle. The whistle is the important part. Can we switch on some lights? We can't even put the lights on this. That's a problem. Ooh. The, the A3 does need slightly better whistles. But this is a wonderful, wonderful engine, so... Fantastic. I've switched the physics engine off uh, simply because it was causing issues. So I have switched that off. Sounds alright, but really it's the Settle Carlisle route that we're looking at. So that's the important part. Obviously we have old signals, so you can see we're going to be having to have a look at uh, district and home signals. Ooh, that's close. That is very close. That was, yeah... But this train picks up speed so quickly, and we have old style signals out there. We're going to be doing a lot of this from the outside because obviously we're looking at the route and not the train exactly. Yeah, British Railways. Now we can really start cranking up the power. Sounds good. Does sound, well, not brilliant, but it sounds decent. So we've got a turntable there, so you've actually got a bunch of shunting uh, lessons, or shunting sessions, sorry, that we have in this area. So that's that's something that's good. Now, where's, where's our first stop? Not that. 
326, Gargrave. All right, so let's see if we can make it at 326. Oh no, we're passing there. Sorry, we're not. We're an express route. We're passing through. Fantastic. All right, let's let's get on our journey. Bring that reverser back a little bit. So you can see we've got this route as well that we can go down in that direction. But I mean immediately, yes, okay, graphically it's not brilliant. But immediately there is a there is a feeling of this is going to be a fantastic route. Just with the amount of detail of on the on the junctions uh, coming out of Skipton. So that's that's something that's good. And the noise, oh that's such a that's such a classic noise. 37 miles per hour. Our coal level is absolutely fine now. Oh, we can really start cranking this up now. 80 mile per hour speed limit. Alright, what's up here? So, okay, so there's another road up there. It's sort of up on a, a viaduct of its own, a bridge of its own. Yeah, the, the, the whistle isn't great on this, but obviously, again, like I said, we're not looking at the train itself. Oh, now that's starting to sound like a steam engine at high speed. I'm going to bring that reverser back. While we bring the regulator up. Should be able to pick up speed pretty easily on this. So you can see we are picking up speed and there's a distance signal. So that's showing that the next signal is... is... fine. Right, uh... Let me think. It's probably need to be in maximum power now. That's a home signal. That's one there. Looking around, the hills are all right. It's nothing uh, massively special. I'll say that it's nothing, you know, remarkable, but it does have that potential that when they get to the next simulator, this could be upgraded into something fantastic. This looks like some sort of former quarry or something, the way that's been set up. Maybe I'll do this review in two parts. That could be, that could be interesting. It's difficult to to get this train going right up to speed. Obviously, once I switch the injector off, we'll be we'll have a bit more pressure in the steam chest. Hopefully, that's another distant signal. Uh, obviously, there are AWS ramps on that. That's why you heard that sound now. And I think this train is fitted with AWS somewhere. Huh? Can't actually. How do I close this? What was that? Oh, I know. I think I know what some of these are. I think. Okay, this one doesn't actually have an AWS. When they replaced this, when they put AWS on the steam trains, it was there. Let's try to close this. Coal level, 185%. Yeah, I certainly don't want to be putting more coal in. Maximum speed on this train is 90 miles per hour. We've got a home and a distance signal there. So what would happen on that is you saw them both go down. 
once we get to the next signal, the distance one should go up, which is the yellow one. 52, let's just crank this up all the way and see what happens. You can see there we're using coal very, very quickly. So obviously that isn't helping us. I like that river going along. That's a nice river. It's not flowing water or anything, but it's pretty nice. We have these bridges that don't seem to connect to anything. But of course they, they're probably old bridges that because of the farms. Yeah, look, there's more of them. It's because of the farms to get, get the farms across or the, the tractors or whatever it is. We should, now how do I get this up? I'm trying to get this up above the speed limit that I'm currently at, which is 53. Now I know we're going up on a gradient of 0.7%. This is what, what's a 0.7% gradient? That's a uh, 1 in, well right now it's almost 1 in, 1 in 190 at the moment or something, I think is the gradient, I think. Right, we are picking up speed now, so you're still managing to pick up speed. Put some more coal in. Bring the injector down for the water a little bit. We're at 77% on the water. So that's good. The embankments look pretty good. That looks pretty realistic in terms of how the route goes. Obviously this is a very old route. So it would be going... It, it would be winding. It's not straight anywhere. And as you can see it isn't. It's clearly not straight anywhere. Now we are late. This seems to be our first first stop, isn't it? Yeah. This I think is Gar's grave. I think. Hmm. Obviously it's because we're we're struggling to pick up speed. As a matter of fact, we are coming into a 55 mile per hour limit, and we decide to pick up speed now. As it moves into the next phase of sounds. Sounds pretty good. You can also go into line side view. I believe that, that the line side view is, is available. There you go. So it does have line side views, which are pretty cool. It's a good whistle. I mean, it's not, it's not, it's not good in terms of the sound, but it is, it is pretty good in terms of the actual whistle itself. It doesn't have a bell. Just double checking the bell. No bell. Price. Sorry. Um, yeah, everything else seems pretty good. Don't want it to run out of coal. 200% coal. That was pretty quick. So there, there's there's some of the line side views, which is pretty... I like having a line side view. That's pretty good. But it does look like we're going through the English countryside, which is... I like that. I think maybe they could do with more trees on the hills. I, I remember more trees on the hills, and maybe that there, where they've got the trees changing colour quite quickly yeah they could do with I think more trees on the hills that's something that could be done but of course performance I suppose because of performance I have to be careful on that all right we'll just uh, cut the power at this point it's going to coast once we get to about half a mile away, I'll try and slow down a little bit to 55. 
The walls look good. They look like old, very old Roman walls, which would make sense given the area. So that, that would make sense. Let's use that train brake. Just a little bit. Come on, 60, 59, 58, 57, come on, 57, there's 57, 56, 55. Come on, uh, I may have just left that just slightly too late. That's all right, though, in terms of um, releasing the brake, not, not the speed. Obviously, I'm, I'm fine on the speed at 52 miles per hour, I'm absolutely fine on the speed. Nice little road, some cows over there. Look at this. Another route coming in. So I like this. I'm, I'm assuming we can go down those routes as well. And there's a goods train waiting for us. I assume they're waiting for us. Let's just quickly find out where exactly we are. Helifield. Wherever Helifield is. Helifield, 3.33. We are bang on schedule. Look at that. That's fantastic. Bang on schedule we are. I'm going to switch. I'm going to bring the injectors off. We're at 90% water. You can see now there's a bit more of a modern signal. Got a modern signal right there. Which is good. I might just do this in two parts. Just because I'm I'm sort of enjoying enjoying that. But uh, we, we will have to see what happens. But yeah, I think I'm going to do this in two parts. Just because I want to take this route. I want to see how far we can go along this route. So we'll, we'll spend another 10 minutes or so on this. And of course, if you do want to purchase this, again, the affiliate link in the description box below would be a wonderful place for you to go purchase it. We'll take you to the store. Oh, look at that. That was a, was that a Britannia class train? I've forgotten the exact name of that class, but um, that wasn't a princess class, was it? I've seen that train before plenty of times. We're picking up speed remarkably well. In fact, I think if I just keep it going at this, we should get up to 75 and then to 80 when we need to. Sixty-nine miles per hour, seventy miles per hour, fantastic. Looking around again, we've got the old walls. I like that willow tree. It's nice to see those willow trees. That's something we see in Britain a lot. So nice to see willow trees around. Seventy-two miles per hour. We are really, really getting getting going now. Seventy-three miles per hour. At this we might have to um in fact, I'm going to. I'm going to just uh, come off the come off the regulator the whole way now. Might even have to put the brakes into self-lap. No, we're on a completely flat gradient. That's pretty good. I like seeing these these multi multi signals. This is lovely, lovely to see. Good, good buildings. Signal boxes look correct. The bridge, the style of bridges looks pretty much as you would expect to. Alright, now we're going up a gradient of about 1 in 100. So the thing about Settle Carlisle is that it does have some pretty steep areas. So you've really got to be wary of that and you can see look at that that's one route i'm assuming we can go down that route as well up for whatever distance it goes down in fact let's have a quick 
quick peek. Let's see how far that route goes. Does it just go or stop? Oh no, this route just stops. Okay, so we can't go down that way. That's fine. It's just a branch branch route. Where's the train? There it is. Okay, we are still climbing up a one in a hundred. So it is, it is a little bit difficult for this train. Puts in some more uh, coal. That's a bit too much coal that I've put in, but that's okay. 63 miles per hour. Again, the walls look pretty good. Shame that the animals aren't sort of scattered around a little bit more. That would have been nice to see. These houses just sitting in the middle of this makes it look more like a, a very old Roman setup, but with modern houses, which is a little bit odd. Of course, this bit of factories, you can see the hills in the distance. This does look like England and the border of Scotland. It certainly does. This is our next station, which we're passing through, which would be Settle Junction. Okay, we're going to pass through Settle in a minute. We're ahead of schedule. Or was that Settle? No, I don't think that's Settle, is it? Ooh. That's definitely not Settle. That's too small to be Settle. That is Settle. So this is Settle Junction. That's. I thought Settle was a little bit bigger. Oh, yeah. Okay, we've passed through Settle on schedule. So now we are on that Settle to Carlisle route. Where's the train? There it is. And as you can see, on this route, the train does struggle. Because now we are at, uh, what? 1 in 99? Or 1 in 100 again. So this, this is where it will struggle. But it does look pretty good. That part of the wall looks a bit odd. But I mean most of the wall looks good. It looks classic. This is getting a little bit repetitive, those cows. Again, I, I feel like maybe if they were just scattered around the fields it would look a little bit better. That looks pretty good. The cliff face there. Very British. Um, we get them everywhere. And now this is sort of starting to look a little bit familiar to me. Just a little bit. And to see us, you know, to be running a steam engine through an area like this, it's, it's pretty realistic again. It's, it's something that happens a lot. But we are on that uphill climb now. And we're going through, here we go, going into our, fir our first tunnel. Oh, it's a tiny tunnel. That's a really weird camera angle it's put for me. But that's okay. So now we're really pushing this engine. And I think that's probably a good place for me to end this first, first look at this this actual uh, DLC. The Settles Carlisle route. In the next video, let's see how far far through we are. We're about well let's get to let's get to Hellworth Bridge. Let's get to Hellworth Bridge. And then we'll see in the next video we'll probably not get to Carlisle, but we'll see if we can get to Well we're not going to get very far actually. I don't fancy doing a three parts video on this. But still, this looks, that does look pretty good. Dri when, when you go driving around northern England, going towards Scotland, you start seeing these sorts of walls, this sorts of, these sorts of hills, and you do start seeing roads that are winding in and out like that. And they're wonderful to drive on, by the way. And then you do see railways that are running alongside in this fashion. So this is very realistic. It certainly is very, very realistic, which is great. So I am going to end this first part of the review there. Thank you very much for watching. 
please remember to hit the like button if you like this video subscribe to the channel for more videos on trains a new era leave a comment in the comments box below letting me know what you think of the center to call our route and is it a is it a route that you've been a you've been on for a long time have you been on it in real life uh, but for me like i said this was the first route i ever ever had a look at in any train simulator so it's a it's definitely a, a special route plus obviously it's a very very famous route in the uk and being from the uk it does does make make kind of sense to to want this route uh, if you want to purchase this link in the description box below for this dlc you can pick it up with all its scenarios and everything like this and try this out for yourself it does get fairly challenging and i'm pretty sure in the next video it's going to get very very challenging look at that quarry over there thank you very much for watching once again and i will see you guys next time in trains a new era settle and carlisle